Have you ever wondered why K is sometimes pronounced SH in Swedish, G is sometimes pronounced Y, and SK sometimes like the devil is in the vowels. Hårda vokaler. The hard vowels are A, O, U, O. And they get a hard sound in front of them. A K, a G, and a SK. Cat. Cat. Gata. Street. Skata. Magpie. Kort. Card. Good. Good. And nowadays more often tasty. Skola. School. Kul. Fun. Gul. Yellow. Skum. Foam or froth. Kol. Cabbage. Gåta. Riddle. Skål. Bowl. And as you can hear from my pronunciation, all of these have a hard k, g or sk sound. Mjuka vokaler. The soft vowels, however, get a sh, j or h sound. They are e, i, i, a, ö. Let's look at a few examples. Kedja. Chain. Ge. To give. Sked. Spoon. Kisa. To squint. Gissa. To guess. Skida. Ski. Kyla. To cool. Gym. Gym. Skylla. To blame. Kär. Dear or in love. Yes. Gis. Skära. To cut. Köra. To drive. Göra. To do or make. Sköld. Shield. Now obviously there are gonna be exceptions and they are most prominent in loan words. So for instance we have the word kex. Which comes from cakes. It means cracker or cookie. And in Eastern Sweden, we say kex with a hard K. But in Western Sweden, we say shex with a more Swedish pronunciation, if you so will. So in Eastern Sweden and more throughout, the borrowed sound has won. Then we also have kille, which is a word I think you know, kille, which means guy. This word is uh, comes from a, a dialect word. I don't know why it's a K here as a K sound, but it is. And as you progress, you will just see more exceptions. And I'm sorry, they will just pop up. That's how it is. Click here to learn more Swedish.